Hurricane Irma causing widespread devastation for Florida's citrus industry. Early estimates indicate 75% of crops are damaged. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino is live from an orange grove in Polk County. And Melissa, they were finally rebounding from citrus greening, other issues, and now this. I mean, the citrus industry could really catch a break right now if they could get it. Yeah, they really could. I want to show you what they are dealing with. Check out all of these oranges here on the ground. Farmers are dealing with 30, 40, 50 percent of their crops on the ground, some even worse. Uh, we're looking at uh, approximately uh, 30 to 40 percent crop loss in this block, and this is on the lower end of the spectrum. Right. Hurricane Irma's winds ripping the fruit from their trees, including here at Story Grove in Lake Wales. To come out and see this after we had rebounded and had a great crop, uh, had a good year of weather, it's uh, it's disheartening. In South Florida, the situation is even worse. Trees and fruits are sitting in water, destroyed. No doubt we've lost 70, 75, in some cases, 100% of next year's crop. The devastation left behind after Irma has Florida's $8 billion a year industry begging for help. We don't pride ourselves on asking for, for, for assistance, but when it's absolutely necessary, like in this situation, we're going to have to do that. With so much going on, there's not been a lot of attention yet paid to it, obviously because of the scale and scope of the storm. But people forget agriculture is one of our cornerstone industries. State Senators Bill Nelson and Marco Rubio stopping in Lake Wales to assess the damage. They're already pushing a bill for tax relief. This could give them the momentum they need. It affects each and every grower uh, of all sizes. Uh, it affects their employees, it affects their vendors, it affects their contractors. Um, and we're going to do everything we can in order to ensure that those jobs stay intact. And for some farmers, they will not have crops for years. We are told that Senator Rubio will meet with the president tomorrow. Hopefully, help is on the way. Jen? Melissa Marino, live for us tonight in Polk County. Thanks, Melissa.